monsters. <laughs> All right, this is just some mini M&Ms. Some mini M&Ms. You guys can check that out a little bit. And then we're just staying, I'm just putting in a couple handfuls because you don't need a ton. And then this is the thing that I have to hunt everywhere for. It's these mint M&Ms. Have you guys seen Ooh, these? I have not. Let me tell you, if you're making a peppermint situation, they make the difference. They really do. Situation, oh. Dan. Oh! She always oh. has a situation. Please hold. <laughs> What's like? okay. Well, I'm picking up. I only lost two, I'll so that's tell not you too bad. Bit about Food Talk TV. You want me to tell them a little bit about Food Talk TV, Christine? Yes, of course. I do. All right. You guys are watching Food Talk TV. This is October Dragonfly. She is making reindeer munch. Reindeer munch. It's a Look, Lillian's already in it. Follow us here <laughs> up in the corner. Follow each one of us. We are a group of creators who come together to share our passion for food with you on Food Talk TV. Check us out on our website at foodtalktv.com. If you miss any of the lives, you can see them replay on Facebook, we're across every other social platform. Thank you, Christine. Okay. So this next little uh, thing that I'm doing, these are just, uh, they're just candy melts. Um, I got a little bougie with it because that's what they had at the Walmart. So we're going to do as much as will fit in this bowl. Hey, Christine. Hey, do, you know what, do you know what we call this in Arkansas? What do you call this? Reindeer fodder, F O D D E R. Reindeer okay, fodder. Same That's funny. How about that? So, you know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I do now. <laughs> okay, so the, on here, there is a microwave method, and then there is a, a stovetop method. Um, this just says to do it 30 seconds at a time, yada, yada. My microwave actually works. Remember that one time it didn't? <laughs> It almost exploded or whatever. So anyway, I'm going over to the microwave. Um, over here. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's October Dragonfly. She is Christine, and she is cooking for us tonight on Food Talk TV. Please follow her and follow the host so you'll know when we go live. Because we go live every day. Sometimes twice. Sometimes twice. Um, I'm just using one of these little rubber spatulas because they're the easiest to clean. <laughs> True. So we're just waiting on that. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is drizzle this all over. And then I have some things to top it with. And um, like I said earlier, I had some plastic gloves and I was like, oh, I'll just use a spatula. I had a better idea. I was like, I can put plastic gloves or plastic bags on my hands. I can do that too. So either way, it's not wrong. But if you don't mind your hands being in there, then it's who cares? Hi, Jesse Chef, wanna be? We'll give this a little stir, just real quick. Oh yeah. <laughs> Another thirty seconds. Can I say show your hair? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is that real? Yeah. I <laughs> So many people is that ask real if my hair? hair is real, and me and Dan talked about this earlier. But yeah, it's real hair, and I put jingle bells in my hair <laughs> just for you guys. Full time with hair. It is. It's like a whole thing all the time. I love it. Let me check this real quick. Hang on here. Alrighty. I want to see Ooh. some drizzling. I know. I was like, it needs a little. I it want drizzling. Drizzle for shizzle. Okay, we're going to let that one sit for a minute, and I'm going to go get this one started. Did she say for shizzle? A for, a, a for shizzle drizzle. Yes. Let's right, go, shizzle, Chef. Shizzle. Chef O Street says. Chef right, o you Street. guys see my big old pile down here? Okay. I'm going to make that close. Brian says tap the screen and share the live, you guys. Show some love to me. The organizer can also show love to Miss Sherry Skinner right here, Miss Bam all. Hey, and Mr. All Dan. Follow <laughs> I feel like I'm on the Brady Bunch. Okay. 
and it is like the Brady Bunch. So you can see how smooth this is. So I'm just gonna drizzle this over the top, guys. A shizzle, a drizzle. That's right. Oh man! Just get crazy. Look at you all are artistic. You're like mm -hmm. uh, Pollock. <laughs> This is, you it's fun too. Listen, this is fun. I'm not going to lie. Like you just kind of drizzle her around there. Hang on here. I'm going to go get my paper. Um, paper. Oh, plastic. Gloves. <laughs> you know that's good, Dan. Also known as uh, plastic bags tonight because I'm out of gloves. <laughs> guys, tap the Tap, tap, There's tap the screen. Tap the screen. Hi, you guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Yeah. I'm just throwing this other one real quick. And then I'm going to put it back in for 30. Okay. And I'm coming back. And I'm back. And we're just looking at this ring down much. I'm just going to get one of these on my hand here real quick. Like, give her a right. little. One of these little. I love all you. You had, had turned that It'd be easier if I had real gloves. <laughs> Yeah, but if you had turned it wrong side out, when you got done, you could just pick up a handful and turn it right, and it already be bagged. Ma'am! Oh, you know what? Look at you, genius. Free yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, I do have a patent pending cooling station. I mean, you know. <laughs> I got my patent pending glove situation, too. You'll see here. We're going to go again on this. And you cannot do too much, Okay. You cannot. No. Not such Never. Thing. Never. That's Ever. pretty. That is beautiful. It is. Oh, yeah. It's pure to my you eye. That's my deliciousness. Oh, yeah, baby. Right, that looks so delicious. Thank yeah. y'all. We're getting it all out. So Thank smart. you for those likes so much, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. We you put some people. white chocolate onto some uh, rice checks. I put some M&M's. Guys, don't even think I'm not scraping that all the way out. That's the screen. Am. For the live, you're watching Food Talk TV, and you oh. watching all of us coming mm -hmm. here together like we do every night and every day, cooking okay. for you live. If you miss a live, you can follow up on Facebook and on YouTube. We're on every other platform. Check us out there. Visit our website, foodtalktv.com, where you can see our schedule. Bios of all of us, all the recipes that we that we use when we cook live for you. So check out the website and back to y'all with your oh, drizzle. <laughs> so you can mix. You that can start to keep drizzle. mixing this in, and trust me, it'll get coated. It'll get there. It just takes a minute. Let me get this out my way. Because now the reason I did this three pieces wide is because it gets a little wild sometimes. And here comes my dog thinking he's going to eat everything that falls on the ground. <laughs> and he will. Himself. <laughs> Jack's on the other side of the room. My dog making a nest. Yes. <laughs> he's around doing his thing. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, Jack. All right, so I'm just laying my little, you know, makeshift things over there. All right, so then we're going oh, in with the the melty chocolate. The milk chocolate. Yellow, but now, if yellow. you like dark chocolate, fam, all what you say, you do you, boo. Do you, boo. That's right. Someone mm. saved some of this. Oh, this is getting ridiculous. Oh, a little bit more. <laughs> put nutmeg on that, don't you? A bunch um, of nutmeg. You can. You can no, put you cinnamon. Um, no, no, you cannot. I mean. <laughs> That's a but hard no for me. I think you just put chunks. I would dump a in here. No, on. I'm kidding. Don't do that. But um, seriously though, if you want, you can use um any of the checks mix. Uh, ch mix of checks is what I mean. Ch C H E X, the cereal. Listen, you guys can use the store hey, brand hey, too. Does not matter? Hey, I want to no, say not. something. Yeah. Two hundred sixty-five people in here. Would y'all please follow Food Talk TV? And, yes. uh, you know, follow us. And, and then you'll know when we go live and make this goodness, I'm going to do candy, Christmas candy on Wednesday. We all do this every day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, see, yes. I didn't take my stuff down. Right? Almost, 
All Hop right, on so. the couch. That should be cooking at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Ooh. So it's getting there. So now I'm going to kind of spread it out a little bit, you know. And now I'm going to get back in there and see where it's dry. You know, and what I mean by dry is it's not got any of this good chocolate on it. White chocolate or the milk chocolate. Marquis is asking, what is that, Steph? This is a Reindeer Munch. You're watching Food oh, Talk yeah. TV. We're making it live. Oh, yeah. Pork sure powder. Or it's got like yeah, It I is would. chocolate, delicious. So I used chocolate checks. Then I used um, some M&M minis, and those were milk chocolate ones. And then I put a bag, a whole entire bag of the mint uh, M&Ms in there as well. Um, I said chocolate chips. I'm at M&M &M minis and then M&M &M mint. And um, then I'm going to put some crushed peppermint in here as well. I kind of wait to the end to do that because I want it to be pretty. I'm picking so this pretty. is just the mixing, mixing mix part. Okay, so these right here are my makeshift gloves because so, I ran out. So I'm going to throw, I'm going to chuck those real quick. All right. So I still got some on me, but whatever. It's all you right. Can, like, yeah. Now the, it's my the house nutmeg anyway. <laughs> the so this is um, the peppermint. Mm -hmm. We're just going to sprinkle the peppermint on. No nutmeg. I hear nutmeg a reindeer horrible. really like peppermint, guys. I didn't want him to think I was serious. <laughs> Reindeer really like peppermint. So there we go. I'm and up. then I found these. Hang on here. I found something real cute. Uh, where'd it go? It's right here. Um, so I found these. It's called Morsels and More. Have you guys seen these? I have not. No. Yeah. Girl, I've been finding all the things today at the Walmart. <laughs> so they were in that middle aisle where they're like, hey, buy this impulse items. And I was like, oh, impulse, all of it. Um, so it's morsels and more. And what's in here, it's got uh, milk chocolate morsels, swirled peppermint squares, and mini mallows. So let's, let's tear her open and find out what's really in here. I don't well, love I seeing see these. Okay. Yeah, let's put some that in there. <laughs> what I'm talking about. That's what I'm saying, too. Look at these little little peppermint chips or whatever they are. <laughs> you can see those. And then it's got little marshmallows. They're the crunchy kind. They're not the soft kind. You know, the <laughs> people that make little candy, they have to have really, really tiny hands <laughs> to make it. They have big hands. <laughs> So we'll put some of that in there, not too much. And then uh, because I also found something else in the impulse aisle, <laughs> I think I've I think I've had these before. Um, they're called trees and stockings. They're white chocolate chips, basically, but they're for decorating. <laughs> and they look like that. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. how cute is that? It makes it a little bit festive, I think. I was just so. gonna say you stole the f word out of my mouth. Yes. <laughs> the nice one. <laughs> Paul wants to know, does all that melted chocolate make it soggy? No. It hardens up. Like, it's... Like, I just crunched that. So. It, does, it does not. No. no, it does No, it does not. So, I'm just going to get my plastic bags back on. Hey, cowboy. <laughs> the F word. <laughs> yeah, the F word. Festive. <laughs> And you can tell it's kind of getting a little bit harder now, guys, because I'm, you know, it's starting to starting to harden up a little bit. And you'll notice, like, it's this piece right here is a little glossy still. That's because it's not hard enough yet. And all this peppermint will coat everything, and it'll start getting a dull look to it. And that's mm -hmm. when you're going to know hard that it's probably. just about hard enough. Hey guys, hello. Guys, make sure you're following Food Talk TV. Follow Sherry, follow Dan the Organizer Man and all of the creators in Food Talk TV. You can also hit the uh, notification bell and that will let and you know every time we go live. Now, if you want to, you can muddy buddy this and put powdered sugar on it. But, you know, I just think more chocolate and peppermint is the way to go with this. Yes. And you'll notice like down here in the middle, you'll Hi, see a bunch of you need to get this all mixed in here real good. All right. So now the fun part, well, the other fun part, I should say, is so 
I got this place over here where there's a Walmart and then there's right next to it is a Target. It's like, just take my money. <laughs> wow. So they had over at Target these cute little bags or these little boxes. So I am going to build these boxes and I am going to fill them up. And I am going to give this to my kids to take to school so that they can hand it out to their friends. So there's, oh, I just tore that bag. She's oh, such a good mom. Oh. I was like, they're little friends that will love this. So, and I'm going to use your little turn the bag inside out trick. That's a great idea. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you can grab enough. There you go. And then I can do this with two of them. Ha ha. Let's see there. And then I can fill them up. So I'm just turning these bags inside out. Miss Sherry said this. This is her idea. I'm just taking it <laughs> right now for my own purpose. We'll see how it works. Yeah, we're going to do it right now. Well, okay, I'm just going to get at it. So I'm just going to go get my ladle like I normally use that, <laughs> use that. I use that other one to. Well, I tried. It's stiff. It's kind of stiff bag on the edge. Oh, yeah. And it's going to break the side of it. So it's okay. I just use a big ladle like this. And I just scoop it right in there. Just like that. That's so old school. There you go. You're rocking it old school. Literally. And then zip her up. And that's one. Hey. I'm going to put a couple in here, actually. How many do the Dad. kids take? Well, to pass out. Um, I'm probably just going to give them a couple, but honestly, I'll probably take a couple down to work, and then um, I will take. They'll eat a couple, hundred percent. Passed up to Michigan, right? I was like, yeah. "Have you met my children? They will, they wolf down everything." <laughs> so hey I guys, I'm going to pop. You, what did you call it, Miss Sherry? Reindeer fodder. F o d d e r. Does anybody Father else have a name thing. for this? That they somebody else that they, said cowboy. It's not, puppy um, chow. Somebody puppy chow. That was it. Oh, puppy yeah, chow. Okay, I've heard of that. Before. Yeah, I'm gonna have okay. to get off right. you guys. I just wanted to say hi. It looks delicious. I'll be listening, but I got okay. stuff to do. Oh. Love you guys. Thank you, Miss Sherry. I appreciate you stopping by. All Hi, right. <laughs> so I'm just uh, getting me a couple of these I'm going to bag these up really quick it won't take too long at all so but reindeer munch, puppy chow reindeer fodder so we've had all kinds of names for it fodder is um, so I grew up out on a farm so I do know what that is fodder is like um, like hay that you feed the cows um, that's kind of like I guess it's chunkier. Oh, Dan left too. Where'd he go? I'm on my own. I'm on my own. Let's see here. Let's go back down. There's my uh, reindeer munch. All right. Let's see what happened here. Um, Sketchy. Got you in there. Dan, the organizer man, you need to come back, sir. Um, Hang on here. There you are. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, I'm coming back. And I know I need to come back. I got kicked off when Sherry got kicked I off. I was like, what happened? <laughs> I don't know. It just kicked me off. And then it said banned from the live again. And I'm not. Wow. I don't know what's going on. But... TikTok is not loving you tonight. Well, I guess not. So <laughs> all I can think was I was shopping at Aldi and said, I don't know. I went in the, <laughs> in the camera. I can't imagine that. But who knows? We'll see. So I don't have too much more. This is the bag up. Um, this has uh, got peppermint. It's got, um, I start with chocolate checks, but again, you can use whatever type of checks that you want to. Actually, you can use whatever cereal you want to. You want to use one of the holiday cereals or something? Please do. I chopped Just up some it. Andy's mints because my kids like those. And then also chopped up, or not chopped up, I smashed up some um, uh, candy canes from the company for English Ashley said to use that word once and it booted her up. What? 
Oh, I was just saying that Ashley said that she used the F word once and it booted her off alive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'll happen. And it's not festive, guys. That's not the word it's we're talking about. Just <laughs> not festive. Right. No, right. festive is a good well, word. Well, I'm just going to keep watching you make magic. Anytime you want me to say anything, you just let me know. No, you can tell them about Food Talk TV at any time you guys want to. Um, guys, just give us a follow. Please do share this live. Give me some likes. I would appreciate that. Been doing all this yeah. hard work. Give me a little like. Give, show me a little love. <laughs> That'll be love. okay. Tap the screen. Yeah, the just line. give me a tap. That's it's Tippity free, tap. guys. It's free. It's free. Tippity, <laughs> tippity tap. Tippity tap. Yeah, tippity tap. So when you kind of come down to the end, you'll notice like there'll be some that'll have more peppermint in it. That's okay. It's okay. It all gets eaten in the end. Don't fret. Yep, don't fret. <laughs> don't See, be there's fretting. always a big, like a big in the bottom. <laughs> Where everything sticks to it. That's why you put down the wax paper, guys. And I'm just using my hands now at this point. I know my hands are clean, and this is just going to my family. So this one will be a favorite. Every one. little crumb counts. It really does. That's why I use the wax paper, because then you get little bits like this, you know, which is real nice. And then that big piece that's on the bottom, it peels right off. Look at that. Somebody wants to know how many bags you got out of that. They lost count. Uh, I will show you. So I've been shoveling like three of these scoops in, which is probably about a cup. So I'll show you in just one second. I did get quite a few. Um, and you could do less if you wanted um, in the bags or do smaller bags. Um, this last bag is going to be quite big. Um, one, two, three, four, I think I got eight. So, I mean, that's eight I, gifts. That's eight gifts that you could make. Really? Did you hear Jeff Bradley say something? I haven't heard hey, of Hey, guys, this is how easy it is to clean up. You ready? Yes, that's what I'm all about. Done. Oh. That's done. perfect. Clean up, man. done. That's a great idea. That's a little bit of prep at the beginning for a lot of time saving at the yes. end. And here's all my bags. Look at that. That is moose munch. Reindeer munch. Cereal, <laughs> chocolate, and little candy known to mankind. It is. And you literally <laughs> can do anything you want with this. Like, you can put whatever you want. I'm going to post what I put in here on Food Talk TV. But please, please, please feel free to arrange this any way you want. And again, I found these little boxes from um, Target. I'm just gonna pop one of those in there. I think I could pop two in for the kids to take. I think I could probably squish two. And then that way they could share with their little friends at lunch or something. That's pretty cool. They're teenagers, they're gonna eat it, so. <laughs> yeah, they are. There you go, well, boom. Cute little package. That's a nice, nice little gift. Yeah. A nice or at the lunch table. Yeah. Little snacks for after theater or whatever in the heck they're doing. <laughs> so, okay. That is, that was recipe one. Recipe two is super simple. I've actually posted a video about this and the video is reposted on Food Talk TV. And it starts just this simply. We're going to, I'm hanging up. Um, I'm going to preheat my oven to 350. I'm doing that right now. Okay. And while I'm doing this portion, it'll be hot enough, even if it isn't all the way preheated, to do this. So I'm going to start with butter snap pretzels. Now, if you have round pretzels, square pretzels, the pretzel knots, it does not matter. You use what pretzels you have. If you want gluten free, whatever. I'm just I prefer these butter snap ones because they're really buttery. Um, but you can do with one. Okay. And I'm simply well. just lining these little suckers up, and it doesn't have to be perfect. It really doesn't. You just don't want any broken ones. Sorry, guys. You're out. <laughs> I'd be eating those. I'd have yeah. some fresh dip on the side yeah, Those are there. definitely snacks. <laughs> so right. just these. Oh, man, the smell Tap off the of these. Here. Buddy, you're watching Christine, October Dragonfly, on Pack TV. Now she's making a second dish. Pretzel ring, which is a variation of these waffle pretzels. And uh, hey, if you miss these recipes, you can check us out on foodtalktv.com and get all the recipes there. You can follow the uh, follow us on every social platform, and we play lives on, uh, on Facebook not, and on YouTube. Not Tinder. 
We're not on Tinder. Just Bam on Tinder. I hear, I hear he her. Said that, and we will never not say it now. Not on Tinder. It's just like the um, when I say nutmeg, somebody told me she hates nutmeg. So every time I'm on with her, I like to suggest. <laughs> and Bradley does it too. He likes to suggest that we put nutmeg in the recipe. <laughs> oh, for sure. Okay, so this um, this is actually how many I unwrapped. I put way more than probably what I have here. So um, these got what are these guys? These are. Yes, yes, I I've seen These those are before. Hershey Kisses that are peppermint. Shut up. Yeah, I found were... all the things today. Peppermint, those... Hershey Kisses. Oh, they're a bit... Yep, Walmart. <laughs> Walmart should be paying me right now. I'm just saying, like, I went over there. No doubt, no doubt about it. You're almost to 20,000 likes. Wow, Tempest. guys, keep hitting that. Hit it. Let's get it. <laughs> Hit it. Let's get it. Yes. So I'm just uh, making some, you know, making a little topper of these little guys right onto my buttery pretzels. So the sweet of the um, peppermint cane kisses, whew, that's a lot to say, um, will balance out with the butter snap pretzel, which is a little salty and a little buttery. So it really makes a nice combo. So this is They're something safe. that... Salty, sweet. You're covering all your bases. Oh yeah, it's got. Now, are you going to put mushroom on one of those for some umami? So no, <laughs> <laughs> no ma'am, no sir, <laughs> no, no umami. That's what I meant. No, we're no, not. No umami. Look, we got to put the brakes on an umami. That umami. I know. It's like you got me all, all flabbergasted over umami now. Uh -huh. I love umami I flavoring. My family <laughs> would slaughter me if I put anything mushroom near this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's that's not the time or the place for a mushroom. Yeah. So I'm just um <laughs> just unwrapping these dudes and putting them on here. Lily unwrapped most of these already for me earlier. Sure. She did a little prep work for me. But um, the one that was the tortilla the other night? Yes. Yes, Lillian made her little tortilla, which I loved. She, I came home and she was literally covered with flour. You guys saw that, right? <laughs> I was like, it was like um, Kaz when he made, when he made Ashton's fried chicken with that battering contraption. He had. Oh my gosh! You know what? Yeah. Though, stuff happens in the kitchen, and I asked her what happened, and she was just like flour. <laughs> like oh, okay, flour happened. Flour happens here. So Bug I'm says she makes those with Rolos. Cat yes. Also. Yes, there are so many variations. I've seen the Rolo ones. Um, Bama just made a video about that, I think. I remember. The Rolos, yes. that's a bunch of magic and a little. Uh, yeah, it's like all the things. Okay, so obviously I put too many pretzels, so let's just pick those up. Okay. Get them out of there. Yeah, cooking's not perfect all the time, especially at my house. Sometimes it's a trial and error thing. So, but it's okay. And hey, guys, you know what? I want to know if you guys uh, would like to be on Food Talk TV because if you would, all you got to do is go up to the tab, the link in our bio, I think, and um, submit a video. And you guys could be doing the same thing that I'm doing right here. Um, you could be doing your own little live video and. Um, you know, be part of Food Talk TV if you guys if you think you got what it takes. And trust me, if I can do That's it, right. you guys can do it. <laughs> Go to foodtalktv.com, click the link tree, and there's a whole process to follow there. It makes it easy oh, yeah. for you. Yeah, it's not that hard. Dan just finished it. He's the new man on the block. New guy. I new am. I'm on the block here. So still I'm learning the go, rope. Just gonna go right over here to my stove. Click. Oh, gosh. It, 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 oh, it here the live every okay. TV. Follow us on every other social network. And if you miss the lives, you can catch us on Facebook and YouTube. Mm -hmm. Go to the website and check out Cook's Club. It's every Wednesday night. People gather together with the same ingredients and cook a recipe in their own homes, but all together. Cook's Club. All right, what are you doing now? 
So I'm opening up another five count Dosher's candy canes. Hey, I will tell you, I love that people stop by the gift shop and I love that you guys order online. But if you guys go to Kroger or Sam's Clubs, you can actually find these candy canes there. And uh, no, most of our business is uh, wholesale. Um, and I say our, I do not own that company. That company is not my company. I just work for them and I'm just very passionate about it because I was a consumer well before I was a, an employee. So, um, for sure, I really like these canes. So, um, I'm just going to break these, unfortunately. <laughs> and if you guys have seen any of my video videos, I have been, I worked third shift for a while to help them uh, get these candy canes out and made. They're each one hand hooked. I have been in the striping process. I have been in the health cooking. I have put the tubes on them. I have done everything, um, and I'm not saying I do that all the time. What I'm saying is I have helped do those things uh, when they have needed help and, uh, you know, people have had to call out or, you know, and they've needed, they've been short. Just um, Fortunately, I'm able to go in and help in any capacity that they need, so that's just kind of what I do. So I am going to just smash these. Give that a good smash. You'll see why here in a minute. <laughs> Obviously. Tap the screen while you're tapping your candy. Say what? I'm trying to get them to tap the screen while you're oh, tapping. Oh, yes. Tap, 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 t
put this away. I don't need you no more. Okay, so Buddy. we're gonna we're gonna hold off on her because I feel like these are done. Food okay. talk TV. I'm a few follow you'll never see another live we come oh, yeah, together we're done, we're done. <laughs> every day cook for you here if you miss any of the live on youtube and on candy pretzels oh yeah, yeah one fell off <laughs> one fell off i <laughs> jumped ship i know he's like i'm out <laughs> hey christine not today not today so, um, this is where you get a little spoon. That is so low maintenance and major uh, flavor for the for the work you do there. My gosh, is that cool. So, you get salt. You so, get I'm just using crushed peppermint. I'm just going over the top of these. That's right. More pepperminty flavor. Because, you know, I work for Docher, so why not? <laughs> oh, we're the oldest handmade candy cane company in the U.S. too, by the way. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, surprise! <laughs> Always yep. learning. Huh? I was like, I feel like you know. Um, some days I repeat myself over and over again because people come in; they're very interested about the gift shop, and you know, we we talk about it several times a day. So a lot of people are like, "Oh my gosh, when you go home." You know, do you just shut down? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I go in my hidey hole and I make, I make my little TikTok, but I'm really not, I'm really not this talkative, but people will probably tell you different. <laughs> <laughs> On your lives, you sure are. You okay. make up for lost time. I guess. Okay. So now I'm going to take these and I have a, a rack in my refrigerator. I'm just going to put these in my refrigerator really quick and um, we're going to cool them down. Um, so I need to find something to it up for myself. Here yeah, I could, you would scald the roof of your mouth. <laughs> Tried yeah. one of those right now. Yeah, guys, um, you know I always do it for the TikTok, but not today. <laughs> not today. Not today. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's too wide. Dancing Pup said they're so cute. Oh. No! And Sketchy, too. So cute. Oh. Okay. I had a disaster. I'll show you about it later. <laughs> but I'll, I'll show you guys what happens. But after they cool down, because it's a disaster. <laughs> okay. It was not good. Um, some of them rolled over. <laughs> when I tried uh, to slide it off, some of them rolled over. Uh -oh. Listen, no, mom uh -oh. needs the string now. <laughs> so, Brian so, um, we're just going to start with this. We're just going to go here. Um, I need another plate. I'm using a paper plate, so um, let's use some of this chocolate syrup, which just has a crusty on it. Cool. You guys, go Food Talk TV, tap the screen and share the live. Send some love to Christine. This is October Dragonfly. We yes, all come Christine. together to cook for you live every single day, sometimes more than once. Oh yeah, and this. A, both an adult and a uh, yes. a beverage right here. So I'm totally making the adult beverage right now, but I am going to tell you how to make it kid friendly. Okay. So so far, chocolate syrup. I'm using a low carb chocolate syrup. I like to try to cut the carbs where I can. Okay. Um, oh. You can rim not a wine glass. You can use a martini glass. I just don't have mine available at this time. Um, but whatever. All right, so I'm just putting some chocolate sauce on the edge here. The sauce. The sauce, baby. Yum. And now all that it's going to hug that chocolate, and they're going to have a little party. Mm -hmm. And this is going to help your peppermint stick. I know you guys can't see that really well. But yeah. um, just like like that. Oh, hey, let me know if I, you can't see. Okay. Well, hey, <laughs> okay. Peppermint. Okay, so go. I'm just taking this. Can you see this? Yep, you're right okay. up in there. Okay, so I'm just going to dip that in there. Just kind of smooth it around. Smooth it around a little bit. Oh, man. Okay, cute, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, oh, no, some fell on the bottom. Oh, no. Okay, 
So um, next, I just have one of these little Hamilton Beach blendery type things over here. Yeah. I, so, um, I am using some low carb ice cream, um, but you can it. use whatever you want. Can you see my blender? Okay. No. I can see that. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's scoot over a little bit. A little bit. I think that's better. Okay, get this out of the way. So many things in the way right now. Okay, so I'm just going to get, um, so this has a measuring thing on the side of it, how many ounces. I want to say this is 16 ounce, this cup is 16 ounces. So I'm going to put about, I don't know, in between, about six to eight ounces of ice cream. So I'm going to put that in first. And it is softened. I did leave this out a little while. You can see how soft that is. So. You know, Ina Garten says that people eat ice cream too cold all the time. She pulls it out before dinner. Oh, okay. I was just saying. I'm just okay. conveying over here. Okay, so that's, I, mean, that's I guess it's about eight ounces or so. Mm. That is so good. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there. Okay. 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 I'm also going to get, you can use whatever kind of milk you want. Milk product. It can, if you need soy, that's fine, whatever, uh, coconut milk, whatever. So I'm adding about, I don't know, two to three ounces of um, heavy whipping cream for mine. And then, oh, I need to go get my shot glass. I need her. Uh, tonight's shot glass will be this cute little ice skate. <laughs> that's I mean, cool. because isn't that fitting for winter? <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Does it, is that available in your gift shop? This is not. This is actually, um, this is a vintage one. That's very cool. I love um, that. That I got out of my great-grandmother's stuff. Or um, either I got it out of my great-grandmother's stuff or Jerry got it out of his mom's stuff. So it's old, old. So, nice. All right. So I am using some peppermint schnapps. Now you use what brand you have available. I that brand that's cool i love this the bottle is, um, this is called voltage and guess what it has in it uh -huh. dozier's peppermint <laughs> and you can get this at march 1st which is a company here in cincinnati it's also available at uh, jungle gems if you're cincinnatian or around oh from here um, Christine, i want to come down and make a special trip to jungle gems with you oh my I gosh can we do that because we will eat our way through there I've never been, and I'm obsessed with that place since I found um, out about it. Yes, it's amazing. So I'm very carefully pouring this in here, guys. Oh, can you not? You can't see what I'm doing. I can see it a little. Okay, well, let me know if you need to see it more. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, I think we're to the top of the neck of the skate. So here, let me, let me show you guys. There it is. Woo. Okay. <laughs> All right, one shot of peppermint schnapps, and then I am using um, an Irish cream. You guys know I like an Irish cream moment. It has to be I Irish cream. It's from Ireland. If not, it's bourbon cream. So, just pouring this in. Move here. it over toward you a little bit. Toward you a little bit. Toward me? Yep. This there you okay. go. Perfect. Okay, I was trying to reach over. Oh, she's running fast. Whoa. Okay. Okay, so then I'm going into one Shut Irish cream. Please. Oh my gosh. Okay, so so far we have one peppermint schnapps, one Irish cream, about two ounces of some sort of cream or milk, and then about eight ounces of the ice cream, which is peppermint flavored. And by the way, Grater's peppermint stick ice cream, guess what kind of peppermint it has in it? Dozier's peppermint. No way. <laughs> So I'm just going to give this a blend. Beautiful. Okay, come out. Okay. So now we're going to... Yes, sir. What you need? Can I eat anything? Oh, he's like, what is there to eat? You can have these... Um, yeah, you can have the moose munch. They're already digging into moose munch, guys. Yes. And you got to get the tasters on that to make sure it's not. Come over, bad. come over and taste it. If you guys are tasting. Oh, no. No, no. It said my live is paused. Is it paused? Nope. You're nope. Back. 
Okay. I was like, no, no. <laughs> We're not no, you're, you're, you're good. <laughs> okay. So, um, come over, guys. Here, right here. Hang on. Oh, it says it's paused, but it's not. Okay. Hey, guys. Hi. Hello. So, what do you guys think? Mm -hmm. I love They you. are really, man, they're so expressive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, they, they take up a lot of energy just getting through their day. They do. They do. All right. Well, they're eating it, and that's, listen, trust me, that tells me a lot. It really, yeah, it really does. does. Sure so. Does. All right, guys. So now we're back back to the adult beverage. Let's see the cocktail. Okay. So we have number one. Ah, Turn it down here. Can you see my glass? Okay. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. So I'm going to put um, some of this syrup on the sides. I know some of my uh, drizzle. My drizzle for shizzle. Yeah, and for then some, some of my candy bits came off the side, but that's okay. She's still cute. I can dip her again. Y'all such a drizzle. Yeah, I get another chance here. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to go inside the cup. Yes. I was wondering if you were going to do that. It looks... I know it's a blob right now, but it's fine. Yeah. It looks so pretty when you pour the beverage I in. I know. I was like, oh. When you candy the side of the glass. You know, so much of what we, what we eat is uh, with our eyes, you know, the more appealing yes. it looks, the, the better, you know, the whole experience is going to be. For sure. Oh, there we go. Now she's acting wild. Oh, I'm just getting blobs of chocolate in here, but it's fine. It'll look cool when it's all it, together. Uh, absolutely. All right. So, oh, gosh. That's, okay. I'm going to wipe that off. <laughs> oh, I think that would be awesome. Okay. So, we're going to pour her in. Let's do it. Oh, Christine, look at that. Look at the sides. It's so pretty. Oh, and it had chocolate chips in it. So there's some chocolate chips. <laughs> I know. Um, man, guys, I need more in here, but that's okay because we're going to. You're going to do the whipped cream. You got yes. a lot of. Yes. We got the right. whipped cream going. Yeah. Uh. Right. And then a little. Voila. Nice. On top there. Boom. Sorry, I flicked some at you, Lane. <laughs> Um, let's see here. I need a straw. Oh, look. This is a great straw to use. <laughs> it's a scoop straw. <laughs> That's I can't, so you can scoop it out and eat right. it at the same time. That's so, perfect. um, so now you guys can watch me. Too. Cheers. Mm. I already know this is so good. Oh, yum. You guys, this is amazing. That mm. looks great. You did a great job on the glass. I think it's really cool. Turn it around where your fingers are. Hmm. Look at that little wiggle. How pretty it is. Yeah, it's got all the... Oh, uh, yeah, the squiggle is the cutest. <laughs> yeah, really like, this good. This is like an elf boot right here. Yeah, right. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> um, let me be right over to here, and I'll show you what travesty to fill me during the this situation <laughs> but it's it'll be fine i mean it'll get eaten for sure but molasses is in the house say molasses okay <laughs> let me show you what happened oh i see and then i also i got something the other i got something um Those i want to show you guys and i said i told kaz i was going to open it on on the live so if you guys chill out for just a second Okay. Right. So, what? Sometimes accidents happen, right? Accidents. So, in this case, <laughs> this happens. It kind of felt it folded over when I was trying to take it off. But guess what? Now it's just pretzel bark. <laughs> oh. Peppermint pretzel bark. But they're supposed to be like it all slid. They're supposed to be perfect like this. <laughs> Yeah, that is what you're supposed to have. Yeah. And this is what will turn out if you don't slide them one way in your freezer. And the yeah. pan was too big. I <laughs> set a pan of uh, pita bread on fire in one of my lives, so I wouldn't feel too bad. Okay, and I am tasting these, and I know they're not keto, but that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> it's fine. 
Well, yeah, it's not like you're going to scarf down the whole pan. Oh, my God. You guys, it's the butter pretzel. Mm. It's the butter pretzel. Every time it gets me. Mm. Makes it I'll so much. I'll give myself an <laughs> Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Papa Kate says pretzel bark. Genius. Mm-hmm. All right, so, so I'm trying to know, what's this that you're opening up? Okay, I'm so okay. excited. You paused us again. Are you there? Are you there, Miss Christine? Hello. Hello. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> oh, you're back. Oh, you're gone. Hey, you guys are watching Food Talk TV. Follow us. Follow me. Follow October Dragonfly. You're okay. back. Oh, hey, are you there? You're back, yeah. Welcome yes, back. Yes, okay. So, okay, so I'm just going to show you with my camera this way because it's so much easier. So, right. you guys know, like, Christmas tree cakes, right? Yes. Hang on, I am zoomed all the way in. Christmas tree cakes. Boom. Christmas tree cakes. That's my cake from earlier. I found these. Yes. There's only six in here. Look at the size difference, guys. Oh, wow. Oh, there's my five God. in here, and there's six in here. So I asked Kaz, I'm like, hey, do you think these are gigantic? He's like, I don't know. I'm like, oh, I'm going to open them. I'm like, no, wait. I'm going to open them on the live. So do it. I'm going to do it. it. We're going to find out right now. I'm sure some people probably already know. Okay. So, <laughs> You're so cute. For reference, I'm super excited. I'm super excited about this. You guys don't even know. You still don't even look at my kitchen right now. It's like a whole mess. <laughs> regular. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, regular. Regular. Okay. Regularity. Regular. This yeah. is what they call the big cakes. The big one. Tap the screen. Yeah. The biggie, big, bigs. Oh. This is comical, you guys. Shut the front door. And the back door, too. And if you have a side door, then, oh, my gosh. Look at the difference. Where did you get those? I got them at Walmart. Another plug for Walmart. No, <laughs> was... actually, no, I got these at Kroger. I got oh, these got... ones at Kroger. I got these at Walmart. Because I, I... Yeah, I have two sitting over here I got to send to Erica because she can't Are... find them where she's at. Are they the same brand? Yes. Yes. Look, Look. Debbie, little same, Debbie knows. Same. People are mad about the little cakes. Do you guys know about this? Did you guys know about this? I did not know. I didn't either. I'm telling you what, guys. Huh? We're going to call it crazy. big. So I thought it was just like, I thought, oh, man, I'm going to go get that double pack. Okay. You know? Big Debbie, girl. Big Debbie. Yeah, this is Big Debbie. This is <laughs> Big Debbie. Big Debbie. Her name's Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't call me Debbie. I'm Deborah. <laughs> I love your big Deborah cakes. Oh my gosh, what the heck is it's going on Deborah. here? I love those things, I've gotta say. I don't know. Something about seeing it on Food Talk TV makes me want to just have it. Yeah, I was like, I don't eat these. My kids eat these. And I was like, well, they're going through these. I thought, well, I'll get this other pack, and it's got to be twice as many. So, you know, and I was like, oh, it's like a dollar or two more. And I was like, what's well, worth it? So let's let's go, Deborah. <laughs> oh, Deborah, big Deborah, which a big yeah. cake. So we got little Christmas trees and big Christmas trees, and I couldn't find them today, but I know because I have purchased them. There are chocolate ones. Really, a bottom at Kroger. I bought them at Kroger. So right. um, there are chocolate Christmas trees, guys, out there. I'm just oh. letting you know. So, anyway. right. um, so well, guys, that's, um, that's my live. So that was my surprise. So that was a crazy. I can't wait to show the kids. Hey, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see what they think about these. They'll be gone. And yeah, they are. They will be gone. They, I think this uh, moves much. They literally took a bag up to their room. God help me. 
Um, okay, so another thing um, I wanted to tell you guys is later this week, I am going to show you guys how to do a lower carb version of the reindeer munch. Um, and I'll show you the ingredients that I got for it. So I found this uh, cinnamon cranberry almond crunch cereal, but I think you could use any cereal. I know Catalina Crunch come out with a couple of them. And then um, these white chocolate Lily's baking chips, which I use for just about everything. And then um, they have a peppermint white Pizza. chocolate. And then yeah. they also have a mocha hot cocoa bar that I can chop up. And then also they have a peppermint, they have peppermint flavored baking chips. So I think that would make a low, it's not going to be super low carb because you know, you're at, you're still adding a bunch of candy. So it's going to be a lower carb version. Right. So okay. for my people that are diabetic or maybe keto or, you know, just need to cut the sugar, this right. might be a way that you guys can do it. So I'm going to, I'm going to experiment with that and I'll show you how it comes out either way. How about that? <laughs> Good to me. So what about the, um, what about the virgin cocktail, the child, the child? So literally it's the ice cream, the cream, the chocolate and the, um, the peppermint, no alcohol. Okay. That's it. Now you can add, um, so I like to do a, a cocoa version for them. So I will add some of my homemade co hot cocoa that I made a couple yeah. weeks back. I will add that to it and do like a chocolate version. Literally that easy. So you just take the alcohol out of it. That's it. But if you use the peppermint ice cream, obviously they're not going to know any different. So perfect. So while you're slamming yours, mm. I'll, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right. They can, they can enjoy theirs. And, um, so guys, this is what I made tonight. I made this beautiful drink. I made, um, these little pretzel bites, which, you know, some something happened to them a little bit. <laughs> and um, I made uh, reindeer munch, but some people call it reindeer fodder or um, what was it? Puppy chow. That was another Pup thing. You can add anything you want to this. And then also we discovered that little Debbie has been holding out on us. Cool. And she has a big sister named Debra. So ice, these little ice... Um, Christmas tree cakes. There is a bigger version. I had no idea. So. Yeah. All right, guys. And that's all I have for you tonight. Um, follow Food Talk TV. Thank for you now. for all the likes. Um, I didn't quite get to 30K, but you know what? Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And thanks for sticking around. And I'll see you and next time. <laughs> all right. Have a good night. All right. Have a good night, guys. Bye-bye.